don't normally drink in January, but if you are going to fall spectacularly off the wagon, there's no place better to do it than here. Evening. Hello. Pint, please, Rocky. Here you are, mate. Oh, one you prepared earlier. What the hell's that? This pint is good, is it? Ken Barlow's been drinking that for 50 years. Rocky Santa Cruz in the Rover's Return. Do you see what we've done there? <laughs> I'm taking all the credit for it. <laughs> now, Carlos Tevez, your old Manchester City teammate, he told me that he watches Coronation Street to help him learn English. So do you watch the show? <laughs> No, I'm, with three kids it's quite hard to get time for the TV, so um, I'm, not, I'm not really into it. But um, I heard from a lot of the guys in, in my time at Blackburn and also at City a lot about the Coronation Street thing. So, and by the way, it might be working with Carlos because his English is improving. I had <laughs> visions of you and Carlos sitting on the sofa, a packet of crisps, cup of tea, just watching Coronation Street. <laughs> you shattered my illusion. But if you don't watch Coronation Street, what, what do you watch? I love the, the old um, Rocky Balboa film. Is that where you were christened, Rocky? Because <laughs> of your family's love of the film, but they just spelt it wrong. Is that what it was? Yeah, well, probably it is. Yeah, to be fair, me and my brothers, we are like big, big fans of Rocky Balboa. So yeah. um, it's, um, I quite like it when people tend to call me like that. Yeah. Now, we're in Manchester. But I suppose this is a place that you'll be quite happy to leave. What what went wrong for you at City, do you think? I joined um, City because I wanted to play and be part of everything, what they were doing. And um, I arrived and I beat a bit injured and they expected me to be playing and to be fit and to be scoring. And just things didn't work out like, like we both expected. So... Um, the manager was quite clear to me that um, I wasn't one of his choices. Uh, oh, so this season, he actually so. said something to you. Yeah, well, the, he told me that um, and that I was free to go if if I wanted to, and um, I'm, I'm enjoying very much the time now, and I'm very happy to be back to a place mm -hmm. also where where I felt home once, and and now even that I'm back, I I just feel like I've never been gone. Because the place hasn't changed much, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes. You've got new owners, you've got new players coming in. Seems like it could be quite exciting times. Everybody is very excited about um, what things are going to be like, but um, it's important that the team keep focus on the league and just from game after games. And hopefully, we will also, you know, be on uh, where we want it at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. Now, you made a record at the end of last year. I believe it was called "Let Love Shine." Let your love shine. <laughs> now, do you fancy yourself as a pop star? <laughs> yeah, my singing is the same like my acting, so I don't think I can <laughs> I can come too far away with that. So, um, well, yeah, I, I, the the singing is has something to do with the um, with uh, with the foundation, and and we support kids in Paraguay, and it's it's very good and it's a very entertainment for me to do things for the foundation that mm. that has nothing to do with football. Right, any chance to get me a part on the house? I think you have enough. Mate, all right, all right. 